Want to jack out to Canada, UK, or anywhere at all, but don't have all of that money? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Tammy here again, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing something really, really exciting with you. It's something I've shared on Twitter some time ago, and it got a lot of engagement. And it's something I've also shared on Instagram. And whenever I share this, a lot of people find it really insightful, and they want to learn about it. And I'm going to be talking about how I raised thirty-six thousand dollars to fund my move to Canada. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel of course and don't forget to share this video. So let's get right into it. Because what I'll be sharing with you is the exact thing I would do if I needed to move to Canada all over again. I used the same strategy to raise $34,000 in three months to fund my move to Canada in 2022. And let's be honest, relocation is now out of reach for the average person out there. And the reason is obvious, it is freaking expensive. Let's just be fair, the average person relocating to Canada today needs at least 10 million naira in the bank to make the move successful. That is, if you're coming as a PR. So if you're not coming as a permanent resident, that means you're going to need at least around 40 million naira if you're coming in as a student for a one-year program and double of that or a two-year program if you're coming in maybe for a master's or something else, right? And these numbers are the same across most English-speaking countries which seem to be the favorite of a lot of Nigerians which is like the large bulk of my audience so I'm talking about the UK Australia the US if you're paying your own fees it's going to cost you anywhere between 30 40 50 thousand dollars ish and I know this because I've done this and I have a lot of people who have done this so two things you either need to raise this money or you have to terminate your plan no two ways about it not so many people have this kind of cash line follow around except maybe you are one rich man's kid right so you need to either either raise the money or you terminate your plan of japa right and for me when i was trying to do mine I honestly was not going to go for that option of terminating my plan. So I decided to opt for the first option, which is to raise the money. So when it comes to raising the money, there are two ways to raise the money. The first is to take a loan. And if you've heard of a lot of people who move to the UK or even to Canada, this is the option a lot of people opt for. I call it the lazy man's choice, right? Because everyone wants the easy thing. But for me, I really don't like to do this because the problem with this option is that it puts you under pressure and you end up becoming a slave for money when you finally get to your desired country, right? So let's say you get to the UK or to Canada or the US or any of those countries that you actually want to move to. When you eventually get there, you start doing a lot of work that you don't want to do and in the end, you won't be happy. And what's the whole point? It won't be worth it, right? Because it's the easy way. It looks looks good on the outside but on the inside on the long run it's not so good so there's the other way which is what i chose to do i call it the cash on demand strategy i learned the strategy in 2019 and it has always worked for me so here's what i will do if i plan to be in canada by 2024 2025 okay 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 i'm already in canada but if i want to move back to canada this year or next year this is what i'm going to do right and it's not magic anyone that knows how to use google can do this and i like to say this anyone with at least half a brain can do this firstly i will look for a problem that a lot of people are having and i will help them find a solution to it it sounds pretty simple but it's just as i've said it right it is important that a lot of people are looking for the solution you're trying to create. If a lot of people are not looking for the solution, then the market is maybe not big enough. And when the market is not big enough, maybe you won't make so much money doing it, right? An easy solution I would think of is an how to relocate to Canada solution. If you look out there today, you would see so many people out there who are looking to relocate to Canada. A lot of those people are looking for information on how to go about this, right? You could also maybe create another information on maybe how to relocate to the UK, but I don't want it to sound like it's just about how to relocate, right? It could be how to lose weight. It could be how to save more money. It could be how to start a business. It could be how to improve your accounting for a business, right? 
basically and literally any kind of information that is valuable to a large number of people right and all you need to do is let's say the case of the canada again right you want to look for information on relocating to Canada. If you're in Nigeria, one place you can find information like this is Naira Land. I know this for a fact because that's where I got a lot of the information I used when I was doing my own relocation process, right? So, of course, you would also want to maybe go to Government of Canada's website, go on Google, and it's just some research, maybe one, two, three, four days maximum, right? Then, you put this information together in the format that you think would be the most utilizable for the people who want to consume this information so that means this information could be an ebook it could be a video course it could be a podcast literally the best way that people would find most comfortable comf um, consuming this information right and also where they would also find it really valuable to be able to use the information you're sharing with them and of course once you've put all of the information together, you want to start selling it. Of course, you want to ensure that the information you'll be providing is accurate and true. This is very, very crucial and this is where a lot of people miss out when we talk about starting a business on creating and selling information, right? People think it's just putting together wishy-washy information and putting anything you like out there. No. The information you're putting out there needs to be accurate, it needs to be true, and the people you're selling it to need to find it valuable, right? And see, a lot of people need a product like this. I'm talking about maybe the Canada product, right? It's a hot product. A lot of people want to lose weight, right? It is a hot product. A lot of people want to start a new business. They want to start a side hustle. If you know how to do that, that's a hot market and you want to create an information around that. Basically, anything you know how to do that a lot of people are also looking to learn about. And this business I've explained in the last few minutes, it's called information marketing, right? And it is the exact business my mentor, um, his name is Akin Alabi, I would have talked about him so many times. And this is the business he did that made him a multi-billionaire. And the reason why I even chose to use relocating to Canada, for example, is because the first product Akin Alabi himself sold was a product on how to relocate to Canada. And this was far back as 2002. Not so many people had heard about relocating to Canada at that point, right? He had tried relocating to Canada himself, he couldn't afford it, but he knew how to go about the process. So he put together information on relocating to Canada and he packaged it and then he sold this information. This was 21 years ago. Later on, he went to create tons and tons of different types of information before he finally created an information product on how to play sports betting, right? And that was what led to the birth of his multi-billion Naira company, Naira Bet, right? And all of this, years and years and years ago. This is to show you that this business has been working since time immemorial, will continue to work, and whether you choose to do it or not, people will do it. You yourself would buy information from them, so why not you? And before I get back to explaining how this works in detail, I want you to take note of certain things. The first thing is this, when you are in a certain situation when you need to raise cash fast, you need to pay attention to these things. The first is that not all income streams can help you generate money fast. You need to know this and know peace. Some income streams would make you money but they can't make you money fast. And also you need to know that to generate cash on demand, you need an income source that you can control and engineer yourself not relying on a lot of other people to make the chain work and a perfect business like this is information marketing right and the third thing you want to also notice this to succeed in this business you will need specific skills although these skills can actually be led in a few weeks but you need them and these skills can pay you for life that's the thing I love the most about them I learned a lot of these skills back then I still use them today and it's not even just for information marketing it cuts across different aspects of life and it just makes you a better
better person overall, right? So let's go back to how I raised $36,000, right? For me, after I've like been able to raise $36,000 and I've been living in Canada for about 18 months now, I choose when I want to work. And I recently just quit my $6,000 a month job here in Canada because of the skills. And I live in a house that costs about $1,800 per month to live in. And the truth is you can only do things like this and quit your job without having something else because you've actually mastered the skills. And the reason why I had to say that for you again is because I want you to pay a lot of attention to mastering the skills beyond just using it to raise cash on demand. I know that's our goal, but if you master these skills, even whenever you get to maybe the UK or even if you choose never to travel again, you would never lack cash. There's a way my mentor says it. He says, if you follow this business I'm explaining to you and actually do it right, you might not become the next Elon Musk. You might not become the next Bill Gates. You might not become the next Jeff Bezos. But one thing is certain, you would never be poor in your life. You would never have to beg for money till the day you die. So let's talk about the necessary skills you need to learn to be able to generate cash on demand for yourself. The first skill is lead generation and basically this is how you can get eyeballs on whatever website or product you're trying to sell. The other one is copywriting. Basically this is how you write to persuade people to buy your products. The third one is funnel building. This is the art of taking people through a sales process that takes them from the point where they don't even know anything about you or your product to the point where they eventually buy your product and finally you need to learn closing or sales because in the end you can do all of the marketing but if it's not converting to money then <laughs> what's the point you need to actually make sales right and you don't need to learn all of the skills don't get scared i know whenever i talk to people about the skills they start panicking and worrying like oh it seems like a lot you just maybe need to be very good at two and like i've said earlier you need just half a brain to make this work so back to how you do this using a case study of how i raised thirty four thousand dollars in three months so i drafted my cash generating plan that showed me that i needed to make at least $11,333 every month to reach my goal. And this was in January 2022. As a matter of fact, I was in Rwanda at this point, right? And it was while I was in Rwanda, I decided I was going to move to Canada and then I went back to Nigeria to process the whole stuff. And please and please bear in mind that I had a capital of $1,000 to start up this business because this is a point that a lot of people miss out when we talk about cash on demand. It's not free money, like you still need to put in something, right? I then put together the following. So I put together an ad creative. So I needed this for traffic generation. I used video pictures and typically I wrote tons of stories right and then I put together my funnel structure I needed this to convert the leads I generated from my adverts to customers and get them to buy what I had to offer so my funnel structure was something like this it went from the adverts and then I took them to what I call a pre-sale page. I can't explain all of that on this, right? And then I took them to an opt-in page where they give me their emails, their full name, their phone numbers. And then from the opt-in page, I take them to a thank you page. And then from that thank you page, I take them to the opt-in delivery where I give them the free products that I've promised them or whatever the free lead magnet is, right? And then from that, we go on to the product pitch that's where i let them know about the products for this i was using a webinar so the webinar was the product pitch right and then there was a sales page afterwards and then i had a 30 days email sequence it's a very simple funnel that can literally sell any products because it's a webinar funnel and that's one of the most proven funnels to convert when you're trying to sell a digital product so traffic generation i needed to get a lot of people to see what i had for them so i decided to go all out on this like i put my foot on the gas i generated traffic from facebook twitter instagram and i even went as far as using lots of whatsapp tvs and i spent tons of money on this i took the leads generated through the funnel i created right and i was spending about one thousand dollars weekly on advertisements and whenever i spend one thousand dollars a week i was making 
four times the ad spend so each week i was making around four thousand dollars right and it's that simple so i put in one thousand dollars i make four thousand dollars so what was i gonna do i was saving three thousand dollars for each week and i did this for 11 weeks and that was it i was good to go i know it's not as easy as i've made it sound but the truth is it's actually way easier once you master the skills that i've talked about and then you actually practice them over and over again when i also started using um the cash on demand system right the first thing i used it to do was to buy a flight ticket it was around one million back then and then i used it to buy a land i think it was around maybe four or five million back then and then i used it to raise ten to six thousand dollars so like the more you do it the better you get at it it's just the way they say it. practice makes perfect right so if you're just starting out you should have a smaller target and you have to plan because this is what a lot of people fail to do they just think it's some rocket science magic but it's not exactly like that so when you're planning you need to set goals and when it comes to setting goals to make your plans come to life you have to ensure your goals are smart this means that your goals should should be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. A lot of people who do maybe they make a specific goal, they make it their goal even measurable sometimes. Maybe it even looks attainable, right? But it's not realistic. If you've never made, let's say, one thousand dollar online, right, and your goal is suddenly to make hundred thousand dollars online doing something, it's almost impossible that you would succeed with it. The chances are like zero. So if you're planning to jack by in twenty twenty four, I mean this year or next year twenty twenty five, you need to start now. And the best time to start, the best business to do is this business called information marketing. If you need some guidance on setting up your own cash and demand system, like I've talked about if you like this video share it and then click on the link in the description to see if you would be lucky to qualify to work with me because I choose to work with some people from time to time not everyone would qualify I promise even if you have tons of money right and remember something I said when I was making this video although I had all of the skills to make this cash on demand system work I had to start this with a capital of one thousand dollars so i'm not telling you that you would suddenly raise thirty six thousand dollars with zero dollars maybe you can but if you want to do it fast then you need to actually have some capital if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with your friends because i'm sure a lot of people would equally find it valuable as well and of course please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye